How everybody doing? My name is Ed and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to be showing you how I created this shot right here using CamTrack AR data as well as integrating that into Unreal Engine. And that's including exporting out a alpha channel. Let's get it. So this is literally just a start in third person. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to speed through here a little bit just to get the stage set up. So first off, what I'm going to do is let's just bring in this right here. We'll get rid of this one. All right. So we got somewhat of the thing set up, but first what we're going to have to do is we're going to, have to go through the edit project settings. We'll do all settings. Let's put in the alpha right here. We got it disabled. So we want to go to allow through tone, tone mapper. All right. Then what is going to give us is it's going to give us an, uh, you can't see it. It says like, if you need to restart. So we're going to, have to restart this. We'll save uh, selected. All right. So we just had to restart that program. It came back up. So now we have that together. What we're also going to do is, and I'm just getting everything prepped up for us. We can go to plugins. We're going to type in movie. That'll bring up our movie render queue. We want to enable that. It'll also say you need to enable that plugin. We need to restart. So let's hit yes and restart that as well. All right. So now we have those things in here. We can get ready to get started into our world. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be deleting a lot of these things because we don't necessarily need them. All right. So we disable some of that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to cinematics, add level sequence. Let's bring this up in here. We'll just put this test tutorial. Call it one. So we have our test tutorial one. Now here we're going to go to import. We are going to import our uh, cam track AR data. So let me just go in here. What did I do a test video on? it should be an FBX file. We want to make sure that we import. We uncheck everything except the create camera. We click on import. Now we have that there. Let's take this down. If we look into our sequence settings there right there, we want to extend this because depending on how much of your cam track uh, data that you used on here, that's how length of um, and frames that we need to go. So we're going to pull this out. And like I said, I'm just doing this fast, but you can get really um, detailed if you want to like zoom in and make sure that you're at the exact point. But for now, I'm just trying to show you how to do this stuff. So let's bring this thing down. Now, since we have our cam track, we can see that data right there. But we want to make sure we create an empty character. And then what we're going to do with that empty character is we're going to zero them out. We're going to put all zeros there. Now we're going to go up here with our AR camera. We're going to hover it right over the actor to sync it together. Just drag it over. Now we have that together. Now, if we go in here and hit our AR camera, this is a synced up view of that. So now we're going to go back into our transform. We're going to raise them up. Let's see, where is our character at? There we go. And now what we're doing is we're basically just going to get into the position where we want our cam track data to start. So if you start on the floor, you want to make sure that you put this thing on the floor and you'll be able to test it out as well. We're going to take that further back. All right. This is a rough estimate. Looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the AR camera, raise this up, go to our film back. We want to put a 48 in here and 27 and that's just for a nice 16 by nine image. So if we look at this right now, now I can go back if I wanted to, 
back up into my actor. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to actually rotate my mannequin a little bit, just right there. All right, so now that we got that set, if we wanted to, we can check. This is our camera angle. Well, that's a little bit off. Let's go back to our actor. I want to have it like right there. Just like that. Now if we go check it back. We're here, there, and we're turning. All right, so that was all of the tracking points that I used. And now it's time to um, get ready to render out an alpha channel. And we did all of our, most of our steps. So what we're gonna do first off of is we're gonna start getting rid of things. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna start deleting certain things. So like I'm gonna delete this floor Let's see, what don't we need? Arena, arena there, we'll keep here. I don't think I need the skylight. We got an atmosphere. A reflection, we got walk. That's what we're looking at. Let's get rid of that right there. All right, now from here, since we have this all taken care of, we probably want to start adding in some lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to lights, put spotlight in, and it's going to take a little bit. I'm just going to put about three lights in here, but I'm going to fast forward this. I don't need to show you how to do, you know what I mean, lights. All right, so we got that all set up for the most part. Now what we're going to do is it's time to uh, render this thing out. So you can light it the way you want. And normally you will go here to the render this movie. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up window, cinematics, and the reasons why we went through the plugin to open up the movie render queue so as we can get this. It's just another way of exporting out. So we go to render, this is our one, test tutorial one. If we go in here to the settings, these are JPEGs, we're gonna delete that. We're gonna go into settings. I usually use an EXR sequence. I changed that to none. Render, you have all of these in here. Then we're gonna go into output. This is where you want your stuff to, to be at. This is content right here. I'm just gonna make an output folder. I'm gonna put 4096. 2160 for the output resolution. You can change it to whatever you feel that you need. I'm using it at this, so I got 4K. Other than that, everything else is good. We're gonna hit accept. Then from there, we're gonna render local. Um, you can render remote if you're trying to, um, if you got like a render farm or something, but we're gonna go to render local. Click that. What we'll get is, we'll get a preview. And this is just of everything we did right here. So this is going to be all you need. And then you can basically go through your After Effects or wherever you want to import this um, alpha channel. And it's going to be in EXR sequences. So I know without with I know with Adobe After Effects, you can import multiple files and then you can go through and import this EXR and then come in as a video file. It's an EXR, but you, you can use it and it should be an alpha channel for you. So, and that pretty much wraps up this video. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't, and um, keep creating and I'll see you next time. Let's get it.